Down Home Grill, Victorville Online Sports Report. Action highlights brought to you by the Down Home Grill. Burgers from organic grass-fed beef. Breakfast from organic eggs. Great food, homemade, GMO, and many gluten-free. Down Home Grill, corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive, Victorville. Local fans get our first look at the High Desert Yardbirds personnel at the team's inaugural tryout camp. Pecos League CEO Andrew Dunn, who owns all 12 teams in the league, is impressed with the players trying out and the facilities at the former Maverick Stadium. We've got uh, 50 great ball players from all around the area and, uh, and giving it a try and beautiful day and kind of the first chapter in Yardbirds history today. We're, um, taking a look at some guys and uh, getting ready for spring training, which starts in less than a month. What are the Pecos League teams, managers, and coaches looking for in players trying out? Strikes. Uh, guys that can throw strikes and, and get us off the field and get our hitters in the box. That's, that's my thing. Me in particular, I look for guys that play on championship teams, teams that go to the World Series, D2, D3, you know, Division One, NAIA. You know, we're kind of looking for a, a stallion amongst ponies, more or less, like uh, with these guys coming out here, they, they need to stand out. Well, you're looking for guys that, that, that throw strikes, obviously guys that have experience and guys that can get guys out and, and you know, you're looking for the best pitchers you can find that are, that are available for independent baseball. I want guys that can compete and, and realize that they don't have to strike everybody out, you know, that they can throw, that they can force contact and, and have the defense make plays. Uh, but first and foremost, I want strikes and, and, and guys that are going to go out there and, and compete and give us everything they've got, not only for us or themselves, but, it, you know, it, it's always a good show and, and the crowd can sit in the stands and, and watch a guy go out and, and give it everything he's got. It's, it's usually a pretty neat experience uh, on those type of nights. Obviously, you know, you're looking for guys with command and, and guys that can get guys out, you know, bottom line. Victor Valley College pitcher Daryl Ellen among the 50-plus number of players trying out. The 22-year-old out of Salt Lake City is in his sophomore season at VBC. Oh, I'm coming here to try out for the Yardbirds. What, uh, what do you hope to show them? Hopefully show them that I have a good two-seam and a good secondary pitch. Aren't I'm a good chances, closer. Yeah, aren't your chances a lot better being a pitcher than the position ball players? Yes, sir. Yeah. I think so because uh, a pitcher is a big role in uh, independent ball. If offered a contract to pitch for the Yardbirds, would Daryl Ellen sign? Uh, are you going to sign and uh, start playing pro ball? I will for sure if I get that opportunity. Daryl Ellen would complete his remaining two weeks of the season with the Rams, then report to Yardbirds spring training May 15th. Yardbirds pitching coach Chance Sharp expects a handful of players trying out this day will be signed to Yardbirds contract. Quite honestly, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I would say yes. I would say there's going to be some guys at least, at the very least, invited to spring training. Uh, and then as far as the season goes, we, we'll see. Players can expect to get a lot of good work, some tryouts, some good evaluation. We got all the Pacific coaches here from the uh, Pecos League, and everyone's going to get a good shot to see what they got. Are there some players already on the Yardbirds roster that have been signed? There are. There's nine guys on the roster, and um, that's online on the Yardbirds um, website. There's also a lot of college uh, players that um, that they're talking to that will join once their college season ends. So Yardbirds demand has been great. I expect a great team here in High Desert, and um, from day one, they'll be a very good team in our league. Well, my spring training will start uh, May 15th in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, there'll be about 30 guys coming out to camp. And, you know, we, we, we have a couple veteran guys that, you know, looking to contribute to the team, guys that have played in the league in the past. And, and we have about eight rookies right now signed. Uh, you know, just, just looking to have a great season. We open up spring training May 15th in California City, and our official opening day is May 25th. We actually start here in Adelanto. We're going to spend a couple days here. We're going we're gonna to play an exhibition game. Uh, so some of the guys that we can get a look at in, in live play, because things kind of change up when you go from practice to live play. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I chose this place over all of you, you know, over the rest of the places because of the facility. I mean, I, I look around and I, I feel the minor league atmosphere, and I, I want the players coming to spring training to get that same experience. 20-year-old Chris Orozco is a Marine stationed in 29 Palms. He tries out with his wife and young baby in a stroller there to support him. Uh, I played ball back in Crown Point, Indiana. 
Um, moved out here for the Marine Corps in 29 Palms, so that's where I'm stationed now. What are your expectations, hopes, uh, just an opportunity to become a professional baseball player? Yeah, I just want to see how it goes, you know. Um, this is my first tryout, so we'll see how it goes. What do you bring to it? What positions do you play, and uh, what are your strengths as a ball player? Uh, middle infield, outfield, I got good speed, I like to hit for contact, so hopefully they like that. You know, you never know until you see the guys that come out and try. They, you might see something in someone that uh, might fit your, the, the mold of your club extremely well. So to say that there's a specific position, I'm looking for a catcher and a few pitchers, but uh, I'm open for anything at this point. Uh, that's why we came all the way down here to, to do this trial with the Pecos League. Well, Santa Fe has, has been in the league since 2012. Uh, they won a league championship in, in 2014, and you know we're 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 looking to we're looking to bring that championship back to Santa Fe. Uh, you know, just out here in, in Adelanto, looking for some players. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for for first year players. Once the season begins, how does a team replace an injured player or someone who is promoted to a major league affiliate? Well, you know, we, we keep contacts with, with affiliated scouts throughout the season and, you know, guys that, are, guys that are released, guys that are on their list, and, you know, there's a number of guys that, that are coming right out of college. and uh, They need to be like plug-and-play type guys where uh, the things we don't have to reinforce some of, the, uh, some of the basics and the fundamentals that they can go out there and they can hit the ground running. Uh, those guys play into June sometimes, so that's after our season starts, so, so there's, there's still guys that are looking for jobs at that time. What exactly do local fans like self-proclaimed Yardbirds number one fan Robert Fuchs expect from the professional team that replaces the High Desert Mavericks? Well, this year I hope to uh, at least see something out of them uh, really good. I expect uh, not too much for the first year. Fan-wise, I hope to that everybody just makes it out and uh, coming out for another season of baseball here you know, at High Desert Stadium. You know, We're going to need all the support we can get. Uh, I just think as long as uh, the general manager and whoever runs the stadium is agreeable with some of the fans and give them a little bit of incentives and here and there, you know, not, you know, not giveaways, but, you know, just a little bit of incentives and really help, you know, the fans out to bring them back and back and back. You know, the more fans we have, the more, you know, the more of the stadium will be. We'll keep baseball around, you know. All righty, I'll be here. Yardbird's number one fan right here. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Down Home Grill, Victorville, online sports report. Action highlights brought to you by the Down Home Grill. Burgers from organic grass-fed beef. Breakfast from organic eggs. Great food, homemade, GMO, and many gluten-free. Down Home Grill, corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive, Victorville.